Hi there. Hi, how, how are, are you? you doing? Good. <laughs> it's okay, boss. Good to see you. Hi, how are you doing? I'm recording, by the way. How are okay. you doing? Okay. Hi, good, thank you. <laughs> so, how is he doing? Oh, he's doing good. He yeah. has improved. Things have improved, for good, sure. Good, good, good. Yes. Um, still need some pointers on um, interacting with uh, other dogs. Okay. So, what was your experience so far? Okay. Um, <clears throat> so... The let's go command mm -hmm. is helping a lot. Okay. Um, when he um, does start to get heightened and start to, I can see that he's going to bark. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I'm like, let's go, Bosco, let's go. And I try to go around and that has helped a lot. Good, good. Um, one interaction that um, happened about two days ago that I did not handle well, mm -hmm, didn't mm -hmm. go well. There was two dogs. Um, Coming, they were about a block and a half away, so I okay. got two treats ready. <laughs> good, good. And, um, and he did really well. He first he looked a bit right at me, and mm -hmm. I gave him one. And and um, I was handling that. I didn't um, anyway. So the the dogs came up, and he just got into that big stance. I <laughs> I wasn't in a good. I didn't have the treats ready in time. I didn't okay. know if I even needed them. Okay, the gotcha. So I said, let's go, and it was all right. It was short lived, but it was that really scary interaction again. Um, well, you solved it correctly. Okay. You, you, you went through it yes, and without any contact. That's good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess, I, I guess I'm kind of wanting his reaction to go away. Mm -hmm. but maybe it won't. Maybe he'll always act that way. And no, I, 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 want you, I want you to see the progress. Imagine you have to run a marathon. Yeah. And you would have this attitude before you start. Sure. Okay. Make sense? Yes. So we have to look at the long term and say, okay, where do I want to head at? How, how feasible is this? Okay. Okay. Of course, it will not change in one day because yes. there are many factors here. And especially when he has his body remember situations. And you know, when you do training, you, you try to help the body remember how to handle right. and manage energy, right? Yes. And that happens with the dog as well. So what we want to do is we want him to go through experiences that give that positive experience. And so the body can memorize what to do with it. Okay, okay? so you have okay. the brain that navigates the dog through the situation and then you have the body that is remember the emotion. Okay. So we want to change the emotions that affect the body that affects the brain. Yes. <laughs> Make sense? Yes. Okay, so good. this is where we're hitting at, that's a theory. So hand, hands on practices, what we want to do is we want to teach him in a very low stimulation, okay, to do cardio. Mm -hmm. basically sure. because here's okay. what's happening the brain receives the information and sends this information to the heart the heart then pumps more blood transporting the information throughout the body so if the pump doesn't respond to the brain information then everything is cool because the dog is calm if the brain says oh my god and the heart starts pumping like crazy mm -hmm. this oh my god sensation goes throughout the dog's body and goes crazy about it yeah. and once the, the body is in that stress then the body needs more information and the brain is already biased about the information and sends wrong information to the heart and all of a sudden we have a meltdown yes make okay. sense so what we're going to do is we're going to do cardio okay. help the dog raise his emotions and raise his excitement and then we tell him hey um we're not playing at that level. And he's like, oh, I have to calm down. Okay. So what we teach now the dog is start having him self-regulatory system that when his heartbeat goes up, he's go to upper limit and says, not further than that. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. And this way, the brain is still functioning and is not shutting down and is going into automatically survive mode. Yeah, which he does. I, I noticed that. It's, okay. it's a habit. And it must be tell me best. about your perception from running. When you run too long, then your body goes into automatic response. Yeah, totally. Okay, and if you don't train the body to do totally. specific things, you basically start having cramps and you drop down and dead. Totally. <laughs> because it just wants you to stop. <laughs> yeah. Good, so that's what we're going to do with the dog. So today, game we're going to do is we can play inside, start with tug of war, increasing the dog's excitement. And when, once we reach the upper level, we're going to stop it and going to wait the dog to calm down. Okay. The dog to continue the game that he likes, he has to self-control himself and calm down faster. So we have that ramp of getting excited and coming down shorter, mm -hmm. and that's our goal. Okay. Now, when he sees excitement out there and he gets freaked out, yeah. he will calm her fast down because he wants to continue running. Okay, so we have a primary enforcer and a secondary enforcer. Mm -hmm. The secondary enforcer is calm down, the primary enforcer is to continue game, okay. the game. Good?
There you go. <laughs> I have been working with that, with the treats. Yeah. Um, and when, you know, and he's been responding very well. So good, I've good. Been doing the two treats and having him back away before mm -hmm. I can sit and all of that. And good. He's in our space. Now, one thing that we can use when you run, I want you to run a couple of times, not, not for you, but for him. Okay. Um, I would go to areas where they're not where he's usually run, but not a time where usually people walk. Okay. And so what I'd like you to do is we start creating a protocol. What do we do if we stop? What do we do if I say, let's go? Okay. Yeah. What do we do if we do this? And okay. play different scenarios. Okay. So it doesn't associate the scenarios with, oh, we have a problem because Sue said, look. Okay. Look equals, she has a problem. Right. Okay. Right. Or she stopped, we have a problem. And all of a sudden, your attempt to control it is become yes. actually a trigger for the emotion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sense? I can see that. Yes. Totally. Good. Yes. And I always say to the people, if you don't understand that particular, imagine if I say the word shark. Right. Instant what does come into your mind? Right. right? right. And what if yeah. I say shark vacuum cleaner? <laughs> Make sense? All of a sudden, we, we recognize that the body actually responds to the word. And then triggers a the mind to think a certain process and outcome, a possibility of how this will end. Okay. And if I add vacuum cleaner right after the shark, right. then your mind goes in different directions. Like, okay, that's not the problem. It's actually something clean. Okay. Make sense? <laughs> yes. So we want the dog to change that thought that he has, seeing another dog, how this is going to end. Okay. Yeah. Make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. Good. We did retire the shop color. Forever. Thank you. Uh, yes. Really, thank yes. you. Thank you. Yes. Here you go. He's been a very good boy. Okay. I mean, he is. I've got a newfound love for him. I mean, I've always loved him, but... But you yes, see his potential good. now, right? Yes, you see I what do. he's struggled so with. Hopeful. Yes, okay. definitely. Yeah. You check? Thank you. Here you go. <laughs> good. Let's go inside. Let me take my shoes off. Who is the cameraman today? Uh, let's see. Whatever, I'll do the camera. Okay. Um, Tug of war, you're doing the tug of war. Let me get her off, I have to get one. I can do that. Yeah, we've got one. Let me get her. Let me play that. Exciting. Let's do that because that works already, right? He loves to. Spin in circles. Good. Now I'm watching the front legs. You see this front leg go like that? I mm. wait until his front legs go next to each other. Here you go. Yes. Good. <laughs> and now once I feel him better than before, I'm going to trigger him again. And then I wait for him to realign himself. So that's the extension of the two treat exercise. Okay. Good. Okay. Actually back away. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Back away. Get away from it. Give me space. Calm down. <laughs> now the next thing I'm going to wait him to go to the next level as we talk with her. Two three the exercise. I'm kind of a poker face here. Until you offer an alternative behavior. Job. Yeah, good. 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 Ready? We cannot do this on the street. But what we do now is we, we create the concept, so this, the concept of what we want him to do later. So we plant these ideas and let this idea grow in different versions of it, right? So, so now we didn't, we hasn't spin yet. Good. Two shakes. One, two. Good job. And now I implement different things. 
So we have the game, this is the rule, and then we have different versions of that rule. Rule number one. Rule number two, the first one is calm down. If you calm down, then we can have some follow-up okay. commands. Ready? Go get it. Come. Sit. Shake. Good. Two shakes. Yes. Good job. <laughs> what you need? <laughs> So spinning and barking leaves the time out. Okay. And then I wait for him to come down. So his goal is to, to continue the game, which is fun. And the reason why I stop is because of these two factors. But I have to be very persistent how I do it. Because he needs to be very clear because of that I did this. Mm -hmm. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Ready? Well, the excitement level is what gets him up. Okay, okay. okay. The barking is the expression of that excitement level. Okay. okay. Yes, I understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. So rough housing, yes, but don't let it kick in his prey drive or his sex drive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Prey drive is biting, mouthing. Yes. Eventually grabbing, which also can switch into sex drive, grabbing, humping, okay. mouthing. So it has two versions. It looks the same, but it's not really. Mm -hmm. okay. You have to see the difference how it starts. Okay. And see also the front legs. This is a small detail that most people miss. So the dog seems to sit, but he's not. He's mm -hmm. pushing me. Mm -hmm. Good. And that is like, okay. Mm -hmm. That is, I'm about, and that's, I'm wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, it. it's over there. Ready? Good. Now, one thing you can do is you can help him recognize your body language better. So, I'm going to work with him a little bit on the leash, but inside the house. Okay. Okay. We're going to work with him. Come. Good. He gets a treat for coming. So, I create the event, he responds to that event, and I name what he does, which is come. So, when I say come, his need to follow me comes internally and it becomes kind of a separation anxiety. He wants to close that distance. Come if it's close distance. Come is I remember, remember how you feel about being apart. Okay. Make sense? Yes. Good. And then we say, let's go. Which means walk next to me. Let's go. And follow me. And I reward that. But first I trigger that emotion that has a certain behavior and then I name it. Okay. Okay. Let's go. So there's a second delay between when I start instigating that intention and then I name it. Good. Good job. 
Huh? You see that that delay? Mm -hmm. That delay is a let the dog do this thing and then I name it when it's happening. Yes, okay? I forgot to do this. Now. Instead of yes. telling him what to do and I'm forcing right. an emotion that he actually is not there yet because all he wants is the treat, so come is treat. No, it's not. Okay. Come is you come to me, which leads to the treat. Okay. Let's go. Come. Sit. Shake. You see that offset a little bit? I give that. Shake is when it's happening. I trigger it, mm -hmm. it's happening, I name it. Okay. Okay? okay yeah. Once that is programmed, then I can call it up and then it automatically responds. I see. Ready? Yes. Go get it. So as soon as it turns and chases the tree, I call it go get it. Okay. Go get it. Come. Sit. Shake. So that offset, I'm not telling you what to do, I'm just telling what it does. Okay. Okay? Yes. So that's not force, that is naturally. He offers it, I'll name it. And that's what we want to move into all exactly. the time, right? Okay. Yeah. Go get it. Come. Sit. Shake. Good job. Touch. That was my mistake. Touch. Good. Go get it. Now he starts offering what he likes. Good. Go get it. So now he remembers the sequence, mm -hmm. and now I reward him following the sequence. Mm -hmm. Now I'm teaching him, hey, this is the job, the game we play, and so what's the sequence? Oh, this one? Exactly. Which makes me do the game. Mm -hmm. Good. Go get it. Now, you can use the e collar and punish him for not doing it, right. or you can make him do it himself and then reward it. Good. Yes. Good. 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 Go get it. Where is it? Over there. <laughs> yes. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. It's a bro Look. broken sniffer. Come. So now I help him out because he got stuck. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come. Let him find it. Where is it? It's over here. Over here. Here. Where's my nose? How are you smelling yeah. over there? Good. So a little bit homework for him. Improve his scent a little bit. Yes. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some treats over there. Okay. Sit. Stay. back I will put one grid over here good and I'm starting showing him directions so you can associate that I'm showing him directions so you can follow them got it I'm showing him direction, then his brain switches to smelling it, try to find it. Okay? He looks back to me, he gets more. Good. Good. Now I'm start being predictable. When I show something, there is something there. Ready? Mm. 
He doesn't trust his nose yet. He's always joking that he has a broken sniffer. Good. He could have several reasons. One could be medical, but the other one could be a breed trait that doesn't use his nose at all. Oh. But dogs have a nose, so usually they should use right. it. Right. So sometimes that's not developed yet. So we're going to work on that a little bit. It would help him with the experience more from his environment other than just seeing because he feels like being a sad hand. Right? Good. Any questions? No. That then his nose could be developed? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. So what we can do is I can send you some videos for some people who, who train dogs to be nose to use their nose more, mm -hmm. it's not my invention, so they're pretty good at that. Cool. And so you can see, you can guys can do some yeah. projects yes. and help the dog do this stuff. Mm -hmm. Ready? Over there. Good. Over there. Good. Over there. Good. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some bidding here. Yeah. <laughs> Over there. He didn't get it. No, he okay, so. missed it. Ready? Over there. Go get it. Over there. Go get it. Two of them. Over there. Go get it. It's over here. Here it is. You. Good job. This is how I want Yeah, right? How about you play? You show him, Sam. Just point. Go ahead, bud. Sam, Enough. yes. Buddy. You know what? I'm going to tease you. I'm going to put the tweets on you, and he gets it from you. <laughs> over there. Good. See? Now another one. Here. Yeah, you got it. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, that was a good one. Here. Over there. Point, Sam. Point. Also, over there. Over there. Point. Keep pointing. Go closer. Over there. Over there. Yes. Oh, I just missed no, it. didn't get it. Yes, we can do a family game. Just do it again, Sam. Do it we, again. We toss to the person who's likely have the likelihood to have the other treat. Look. Over there. <laughs> Over there. Oh, there you go. What? Oh. <laughs> Over there. We're pointing. Where's that one go? Sam, just if he head. comes to you, give it to him. I'll stop. Oh, just wait, buddy. Over there. Good? Good, Sam. Now, before you go outside, play some games. He's tired. All he has to do is run. And don't give a bark about what happens outside because right now I'm just done with my brain. Mm. I just want to run. Mm -hmm. So okay. don't do games before? Do, do games before do games. so that brain is exhausted. I know. So the only thing you do is just running around like, oh, then I'm the dog or whatever. I'm just, I'm just done for the day. Okay. Okay? okay. But if you don't do it and you go outside, the first thing he does is try to entertain himself with what's happening out there and all this frustration kicks in there. Mm. Okay. Right? Good. Okay. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've tormented him for years, so he's used to it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I want to pull Just his leg playing away. with him. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good because you can ah, <laughs> you can clip his legs away. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, this is a good thing to do. Are they too long? Yeah. Oh, okay. It may have been a little while. Some clipping. Yeah. It grew fast. Yeah, I just did it about four weeks ago. Yeah. He has it. And then he has it. Right. It's over there. He has point, it. Point, Sam. Oh. Let's go. Oh, you went right by it, buddy. Let's go. He has it. He has two of those. <laughs> good, good. Okay. Now, what else you can do outside once the weather is better, or even in the living room, you can guys place its shelf in different areas and do look, come, Everything. and different sequences. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look, come, sit down, stay, whatever you want, yes. and then free him so the next person can call him. Okay. So if the person in there somewhere where you don't see hears free, then the next person will call the dog and okay. come over. Okay. okay? So you cannot just come up if you don't have the free command and you are kind of trapped in that situation until you are free. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay? Ready? Good. So I have some treats. Let's play the game shortly. Okay. You got two treats. You got two. 
Okay, you have these two guys. Okay. Boys, do you understand the game? You go with your dad, and I go in the living room. What do we do? You tell them come or whatever it is, Good. and then some that person says free. That means someone else okay. gets to call them next. Okay. Do we have to give him one? Okay. Yes, when he does what he's supposed to so do, when, you give him. Roman frees him. We'll see. Look, come. I'll let mom sit. go first. Touch. Good. Sit. Good job. Free. Let's go. Come. Good. Sit. Shake. <laughs> Touch. Good. That's a great boy. Free. Sam. Oh, no. You're with him. Hmm? Oh. Sam's with you. Okay, call him, Sam. Let's go, come. Yeah, boy. Tell him to sit. Sit. Let's go sit. Um, shake. Good. Good, now you can give it to him. Say good boy and good then boy. say free. Good. Free. Come on, Yeah, you go. That was sit. good. Oh, I don't Yeah, that was good too. Oh, I Good boy. Free. Look! Sound free, Bert. Do you have one more? Yeah. No, don't give it to me. <laughs> Look! Cup! Good, see? Three shakes. Yes, and. Ah! No. Look! <laughs> Cup! Good job, sit here. Good job. Two shakes. Good, another one? Yes, good job. Free. Let's go. Come. Guys, you should do it now. Come on, you can do it, Dad. I'm video. That was good. Sit. Dad, nice. close the doors. No, no. Sit. Good boy. That's a good bicycle. So it's not a problem Free. if the dog Free. doesn't Free. do it 100% correctly. Okay. But at the end, you want to shape it to be nice. Yes. So if you want you to three. be perfect in the beginning, then he gets frustrated. Okay. He stops doing it. He gets confused. Uh, uh, so even if he makes it half right, that's fine. Let him fix it more and more and more over the time so he Shake. sees our progress. Don't tell him to sit okay. again. He's not Let's sitting. Let's go sit. Let's go sit. Look. Come. Okay, call him back again. Let's go come. Sit. Good. Then three. Uh, just love. Yeah. <laughs> so Let's, let's go he sit. Starts predicting his own things, sit. We're gonna stop Good it, sit. and somebody can help him out, call him out, because okay. that's not the reward. Now if you don't do what you're supposed three to do shake. in the game, then yes. you're cheating yeah. in the game. We're not playing now. Right. Let's go. Three shake. <laughs> you gotta let him go. Three. three. Look. Yeah. Come. So you use the look exercise a little bit more. Let's I know free. everybody calls Bosco. Let's go free. But we use okay. Bosco for good things free. and for bad things. We want to get Let's that free. away the name. Okay. Use only the Let's word look, okay. which means absolute solution to your problem. Does okay. that mean look at okay. me, okay. right? Yes, pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. That's pay attention. Okay. Okay. No matter what you do, pay attention because information is important that comes with that. Yes, okay. Okay. Good. Thank you so much for the video. Yeah, thank you. Um, are these something that we can pull down offline?